This is Twit. Intel Core i9 9980XE. Um, mm. So, talked about this on the podcast last night. And uh, it, it's basically, it's replacing the 7980XE, uh, which was about the same price. Mm -hmm. But the only real difference is that it clocks slightly higher. I mean, everything else is the same. They claim it's, you know, 14 nanometer plus plus instead of 14 nanometer now. But it's still Sky Lake X. Um, basically, just a little, you know, a few more tweaks to the process uh, have been done. Um, but, you know, I mean, yeah, clock's a little higher, but now you've got, you know, as, as Ken was doing all this testing, the, the main comment was like, you've got some really competitive uh, Threadripper parts out there for, you know, depending on your workload, you can get away with uh, fewer cores or even fewer cores now that there's like the, um, you know, the Threadripper 2990WX, but then there's also a, the 2970WX, which was one of those in-between parts that mm -hmm. I think just had like 24 cores, right? Um, but for some of his tests, he was able to beat this 9980XE with certain multi-threaded workloads, even with just the 24-core Threadripper, which is like nice. thir it was just like 13 or 1400 bucks, right? So, you know, you're you're getting close to half off the price there for, uh, again, depending on workload. Um, you know, I guess I guess the 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 oddity is if you're in the market for a CPU with a bunch of cores in the first place, any sort of bunch of cores, chances are you're after multi-threaded workloads that are probably going to favor the Threadripper on cost for performance, really. Um, hmm. And then, and then on the flip side of that, you have, uh, you know, the 9900K, which came, which we talked about last week, right? Um, yeah. And, you know, I mean, that's an eight-core, twelve-thread part, right? So that you already have a decent number of cores there, uh, with, with gaming performance and whatnot. That's is basically the, the takes the crown because it's the fastest single-threaded and you know fastest straight-line speed sort of sort of part there. So Intel's kind of painted themselves in their corner where they have this other part here where it's like it really should be like a workstation part. But they're trying to make it this end-all be-all like jack-of-all-trades sort of thing. But in reality, it's not. Right? Like if you want the better gaming GPU or CPU, you go with the with the 9900K. If you want the, the better, uh, you know, multi-threaded like you just want all the threads to do all the things right. all at the same time <clears throat> then you should probably lean more towards Threadripper um, you know yes the you know this part will go faster gaming than, uh, mm -hmm. than Threadripper usually does and if it's a memory sensitive workload uh, chances are the Intel side is going to be favored because Threadripper kind of has it's kind of like an Achilles heel is that those extra hops that, that uh, Threadripper AMD side has to take via Infinity Fabric, basically the, the way they kind of glue all their all their groups of cores together, all their various dyes on, on one package. You know, yes, there's some disadvantages there, but man, the, the prices on the Threadripper side. Um, you're getting an, just an awful lot of cores for your money, um, even if they are a little bit slower. You can kind of work <laughs> your way through it, right? Um, well, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, interesting stuff. Um, not sure where, the, you know, and, and the other thing we're not sure on is uh, how long are we going to be on this 14 nanometer thing from Intel, right? Now it's like, how, how many pluses are they going to add to the end of that 14 nanometer? Uh, as many as they need to. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess it's not TikTok anymore. It's not a waltz. It's not a square dance. Like, I don't know how many steps they're going to be stuck on this one side of, uh, of the talk or the tick. Whichever way it was works properly for the for the uh, analogy there. 